If you'd like to purchase Magic Online cards at competitive prices, check out our web store at mtgoacademy.com slash store. Folks, we're here in the two-man queues, and we've won the die roll. We're going to play first, and we're playing Boros Kitty. And I think we can keep this hand. We're not really doing anything until turn three. And we do have Glint Hawk and Rebirth, which aren't going to do anything yet. But being on the play, I think this hand is okay. We have enough life gain to kind of get us situated, hopefully. So we're going to lead on the crossroads and F6. And I have very, very, very limited experience playing this deck. I've probably played it for a total of one match. And we're playing against a burn deck, so I think we're going to be okay. We draw an Ancient Den, so we could just slam down Lone Missionary, which I think we're going to do. Next turn, we can garrison away the Crossroads, and if we want to... Uh, let's see, the Rift Bolt's going to hit our Lone Missionary. So... Maybe it's better... We can also go Missionary Rebirth next turn. I think it's slightly better to play the Garrison and get our red source. So we'll do that. I think it's slightly better, but it's debatable. So let's just pass. And so we're going to take three, but I think we're going to gain enough life here to slow him up. Yeah, we can Rebirth that Clint Hawk. There's a curse, so we are on the on the clock, but I think we can probably deal with it. So I think I want to go Ancient Den, play Missionary, and then sack the uh, the Ancient Den for a Rebirth. That puts five on the table. Whereas if we do anything else, I mean, we could we could go Missionary Glint Hawk and then. That gives us four on the table, and then we can still have an artifact for rebirth. That's also okay. We have to replay the... Yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll have to replay the Ancient Den, and then sack it. So we're going to be low on mana the whole time. Five and four is like a, an entire turn off of the clock, however. I think we'll go Missionary. into Rebirth. Just because 5 is so much better than... four. It's a whole turn earlier. Pardon me for the lapse in judgment. Sometimes it's tough to talk and think about all the possibilities of the game at the same time. But I kind of like our position. I don't like getting Searing Blaze, but I'm just going to have to go with it. Looks like we're going to end up casting Faithless Looting. Oh, there's Icar Wellspring. So I think we'll just cast that and play Kabira Crossroads. But let's cast this first. Yeah, we don't need to use Faithless Looting yet. Draw another Faithless Looting. That's pretty gross. Okay, we're getting in for our first bits of damage. Next turn we can Wellspring up. We're going to want to hit some more life gain. This is interesting. So in our sideboard, I'm going to check our sideboard real quick. We have two Circle of Protections, and that's it. So, okay. He just cast Rift Bolt. He's got three cards, so we're at 16. We've got a couple of bolts as well. I think we want to save those, though. Is it better to cast a Wellspring or not? So he goes to 14, 11. We attack for another 5. That's 6. Yeah, we're going to hold the bolts. So let's go ahead and just run out the Glint Hawk. Yes, I do. We'll replay you. And we draw a Great Furnace, so that's pretty good. I will attack. I don't think I want to play Faithless Looting here. But if we don't, it's, we're kind of wasting our mana. 
gonna, we can draw two cards and pitch the other Faithless Looting. 11, 6. I think I might just throw a bolt at him. I think it's going to be better. Because we're going pretty low. We're going to virtually 12. And we may want to bust the uh, Wellspring with our Core Sanctifiers. We can actually bust the Curse. I didn't even think about that. We're definitely doing that play. And I think we're definitely bolting him here. And we have a Skyfisher, which is even better. I think we want to bust the Curse now, or is it better to gain the life? I guess he's dead next turn anyway. So gaining the life is probably the best bet. Busting Curse deals one to us, whereas Crossroads gains us two. Sorry, Busting Curse uh, saves us one. So yeah, I'm just going to get my Crossroads back, and I don't see any reason to play Faithless Looting here. So he's got five cards. I don't think he's going to try and burn us. And the fact that he didn't play anything right there, I think we're totally safe. He would have had to play something on our end step to, to stop us. So we've gained four, eight life. And that seems to have been enough, especially with these called out the rebirth tokens. Okay, he concedes. So that's good. We got one game so far. It's going to be a little tough to win this one. So let's look at what we can take out. Faithless looting might be too slow. We could get into situations where we want to um, cast it in the late game. I think Celestial Flare is also pretty weak. The burn's decent because it helps with the racing. And I think the bone splitter's nice because it also helps with the racing. So we definitely can bring in Cop Red. I don't know that there's anything else we want to bring in. Trickery and Molten Rain don't do anything. He doesn't have a lot of attackers, so I think Faithless Looting is going to be good enough. And yeah, I think that's what we want to do here. I'm still kind of surprised this deck's only playing 20 lands, but it seems to be going okay. Yeah, I think we can keep this. So, yeah, let's submit. And what is our opponent bringing in? Probably not a whole lot. Maybe Flaring Pain or something. So this has a uh, Crossroads, a Koldota Rebirth, and a, and a Wellspring. We can... We can keep this. I'm just trying to figure out what our sequence is. I think it's Crossroads, turn two, Wellspring... Turn three, rebirth the wellspring and play bone splitter. We have a lot of galvanic blasts here. We may want to rebirth on turn two, but I really don't like the idea of sacking a land that early, and I think the bone splitter helps us. Okay, he drew a card rather than burning us, which is very good. He's going to have some artifact hate, perhaps, which might screw us off of red. I think we still have to take this line. Yeah, I think we take this line. He hasn't played anything yet, but... And we have a prism, so even if, as long as we draw a land, we'll be okay. All right, I'm liking our uh, chances here. He could be sitting on a Martyr because he hasn't played anything. But I still think this is the best line. Rebirth, play a Bone Splitter. We draw a card off of that. So we play two spells. We got six. We go back up to seven. We may draw a land. Yeah, I think this is the best line. I think it's better than Skyfisher. I mean, he has to have Martyr. He hasn't done anything for the first three turns. That's a really good draw, Lone Missionary. So I'm going to F6. We'll see what he does next turn. I may just end up playing Prism. I've got a lot of burn in hand. Okay, now he's going to the face. 
So it's looking like we want to play missionary. Yeah, we definitely want to play missionary. So now he's starting to throw burn around. I'm at 12. Yeah, I think the life gain's just gonna really hurt him here. And we drew a land so we can leave up metal, or we can equip, or we can leave up a metal crafted blast. 13, 9, 5. I think we leave up blast. And we're at 16. I'm not 100%, but if we draw any burn, we can win next turn, I believe. Well, he goes to 9, then we equip a guy, 7, and then we just burn him. Yeah, he's actually yeah, he's actually dead to this. So I think <clears throat> I think it's okay. I don't even need to burn him. Well, that's unfortunate. But I think we're going to be okay. So this is 9. And I drew a land so I can equip and play. I mean, we're not we're not in danger from three cards. So I think we just equip here and see if we get the victory. And he's gonna have to kill a guy. He may have electricery. He's just gonna take it. Okay, I'm gonna play a great furnace here and try try and burn him. Wrong card. So this deck actually hits pretty hard and pretty fast. So we took that one down. We beat a burn deck, which was uh, pretty impressive there. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll talk to you later.